Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create simple point of sale system. For this purpose, we will create a new project in Visual Studio and select Windows Form application, adjust a form and go to form properties and uh, change the text of the form as point of sale system. And then we will add two data grids here, grid one and then grid two and adjust the position and uh, size of that grids. You can see in the video, we are uh, changing the height and width of the grids. And then now it's a time to add label, change the text of the label as total. And we are changing the font as uh, size 12 and uh, bold. Copy that total label and paste three times one for paid and other for balance adjusting the position of the label after that we will add text and same we are changing the font of the text size as uh, as 10 and uh, bold and copy that text box three times in front of total paid and balance so we have total paid and balance text fields keep changing the size and make the total uh, text box as read only and copy the label and text box again and paste on the right side and change the text of that label as inter product And again paste the label and change the text as enter quantity of the product in front of product we are adding another text box and in front of enter quantity we have added another text box and uh, two buttons first button would be plus to increase the quantity of the product and the second one would be the negative to decrease the quantity of the product. Now we are adding another button and the text of button would be checkout. Adjusting the font of that button. So we have two data grids and a few text boxes and a few labels. Now we are adding a, a tab control and copy all the fields and paste in tab page one here. See, we have pasted all the things in tab page two. Go to the property of tab control and change the text of page one would be add product. And uh, the other tab control name will be point of sale system or POS. First grid on the left side of the screen, we name it as search product and on right side, the grid name would be inter product. You can see on the screen. Now we are adding some statics like uh, style or design to separate two grids for the user convenience. Here we have added a line. Line is not suitable. We should add a rectangular shape bar. It looks good. Now we are going in the property of that bar and uh, we are trying to change the inner color or filled with the dark red color you can see it looks good now we are adding another rectangle to separate the select product and search product 
from the other text fields and same we are changing the colors background color or the color which we are filling the field color is green so you can see it looks good now and the user can easily differentiate between uh, search product grid and other things now it's a time to go to the other tab the add product tab here we are adding few labels and uh, few text boxes first label is product name the second label is product price the third would be product quantity and the fourth would be total count or i think uh, quantity is same as count here we have product id and in front of all the labels we have text fields in it now you can see we have a understandable gui or graphical user interface for point of sale system change the variable names of text fields like uh, product price would be txt underscore p price product quantity will become txt underscore count and here is the button to add the product in database in first phase we are creating a list based database and in second phase we will create a, a, a sql database see now we are adding columns like id next column would be product name third column would be product price and the fourth column would be quantity and the last column would be total here you see in select product we have five columns we are changing the name of that columns or you can say that her header text we are changing the header text once we will click on ok the name will be changed you can see in select pro uh, product we have product id product name and product price it's the heading of the add new product and we are changing the color so that user can differentiate between two tabs so here we have uh, here we have the complete gui you can see point of sale system user interface and the other is add product interface i hope you like the video please like and subscribe our channel learn to code now for more exciting videos thank you so much